Thanks for joining me for my Hope video cast. I wanted to tell you about uh, a congregation. It uh, is uh, several hours east of here, and uh, they have uh, that right in the middle. Some of you may remember in June, uh, a bunch of storms moved through uh, the area. Uh, they moved through kind of western, northwestern Texas all the way up across the center of the U.S. And the storms created a lot of damage. Uh, there was a hurricane, I mean a hurricane, a tornado at that time in north Texas uh, from those storms. Well, in our part of the diocese, our part of Texas, just below Dallas, there were several weeks in which people went without electricity. This included, uh, of course, uh, all of those providers of food and health, uh, they lost everything in their freezers, everything in uh, their refrigerators. And so uh, our priest and uh, uh, the folks up there uh, have been meeting with the local uh, NGOs to figure out how to meet this need. And what we're doing is partnering with them uh, and they are raising funds and supplying food. We're going to refill. They are refilling those uh, freezers and refrigerators as we speak. And I'll tell you what, uh, when the church uh, deals with its own uh, uh, refrigerators, and people have their own refrigerators out, but even in the middle of all of that, what they're doing is thinking about those who do not have food to eat. It is an amazing thing. I think about uh, that passage from Scripture when Jesus looks out and sees the sheep that need to be fed, uh, and uh, he's moved inside of his, himself uh, to do that work. We have the feeding of the 5,000, of course, follows that. And, of course, the words to Peter himself, if you love me, feed my sheep. That's what this little town's doing, and how could I not have hope in the Episcopal Church uh, when you have stories like this. And I know, I know that there are disasters all over this country where our Episcopal churches uh, are uh, doing work. This week, I want to invite you to do two things. One, if you're in an area that has suffered a disaster, see how you can help. Second, uh, if you want to give, uh, use Episcopal Relief and Development or send directly to the diocese funds to help with the disasters they face. So thanks again for joining me for uh, a little bit of hope. Uh, it's an amazing thing.